yoga as a word that has many different meanings depending on where you are situated and what you want to do with it. Yoga for me is um, creating that light within myself every day so that I can share that light with others and make the world a better place. For anyone who wants to look younger, lose weight, feel any addiction process, anything that you're feeling that's negative, replace it with yoga and see what happens. And don't worry about the religious things. <laughs> For me, it's a, it's a great way to exercise um, my body and relax. It's challenging, and uh, it's also fun to do with you know, a community of folks who are all struggling to do the same thing and stretch their body in difficult ways. Yoga translates as union, but that can, that can mean many different things. It can mean union with ourself, a self on a deeper level. It can mean union others, connecting with others, or connecting with something greater than, than ourselves, than our individual selves. Yoga, historically, um, means something like the discipline of the body and the mind by means of training the breath. And there are various, many different traditions of yoga in ancient India, wherein we find its historical roots. Some people would find it even uh, further back. But let's say during the time of the Upanishads, Yoga in that sense is definitely a practice that is only for a select group, group of religious specialists. And it is understood that yoga is difficult. It's not something that a lay, regular lay person would be interested in. It's something sometimes uh, is seen as even dangerous at its higher levels. Now, um, after that, with the rise of uh, Buddhism, Buddhism does begin to include a system of mind training meditation that also includes breath control and also the control of the body as well. So it does have its own yoga traditions. And in both traditions, it's definitely a religious or a spiritual practice. It's a spiritual practice, I think. It's got certainly got roots in uh, religion and Hindu at first and then taken up in Buddhism, and there are plenty of uh, Christians as well that try to integrate meditation and, uh, practices of meditation into their faith. So uh, deity yoga simply is the idea of the transformation of the body and the speech and the mind, and one finds it especially in Tibetan Buddhism. In Tibetan Buddhist yoga, the idea is that through deity yoga, one is able to rapidly transform the body, the speech, and the mind by means of harnessing the body, the speech, and the mind, these three faculties, in a ritual context in which the person, the practitioner, is rapidly, quickly, powerfully transformed into a bodhisattva. I, I'm not sure it's ever possible to completely divorce such practices from, uh, yoga, yoga practices from their religious background or um, that we want to or sometimes it's even a problem when you get I think practices like yoga imported into uh, w Western countries where they're not sort of native to and then they get commodified in various ways that divorce them from their um, deeper cultural context and then you end up with a kind of flattened cheap version of the practice. My name is Lauren Reinhardt and yoga basically saved my life. <laughs> I was, uh, had a real rough childhood and teenage years, and so when I was 20, I was real bad off and almost died. I got a DUI and totaled my car. So from losing my license, I was at home all the time, and I started practicing yoga there, and I just learned self-love and self-confidence and just, you know, anything's possible if you love yourself. Namaste.